Ross read an equation for the transformed logarithm shown below that passes through the point 1 comma 0 and negative 2 comma 3. We'll build the equation using the common log function in the form y equals a times common log of the product of b in the quantity x plus c plus d. It's important to be familiar with the graph of the basic common log function shown below. It's important to be familiar with the general shape and to recognize the vertical asymptote is x equals zero. Before we begin, let's review how the values of a, b, c, and d affect the graph of the basic common log function. Let's first see what happens to the graph when we change a from positive one to negative one. Notice when a is negative one, we have a vertical reflection or reflection across the x-axis. Also notice that a produces a vertical stretch or vertical compression. Let's set a back to one and see how the value of b affects the graph. We're gonna focus on what happens to the graph when b is positive one or negative one. Once we determine whether b is positive one or negative one, we'll then change the shape of the graph to fit our given graph using the value of a. So notice when b is negative one, we have a horizontal reflection or reflection across the y-axis. Let's set b back to one and move to c. Notice when c is positive, the graph is shifted left and so is the vertical asymptote. And when c is negative, the graph is shifted right and again, so is the vertical asymptote. And now let's move along to D. When D is positive, the graph is shifted up. When D is negative, the graph is shifted down. So going back to our graph, notice we have a vertical asymptote of X equals two, which indicates the graph has been shifted right two units. This indicates that C is going to be negative two. Comparing the graph to the basic common law graph below, we have a horizontal reflection, which indicates B is going to be negative one. This gives us y equals a times common log of the product of negative one and x minus two plus d. Let's go ahead and simplify inside the parentheses here. If we distribute, we have negative x plus two or two minus x. Let's use the equation in the form of y equals a times common log of the quantity two minus x plus d. From here, we'll use the point one comma zero and perform substitution. We substitute one for x and zero for y. This gives us zero equals a times common log one plus d. But remember, common log one is equal to zero because 10 to the power of zero is equal to one. Recall a logarithm is an exponent and common log is log base 10. Log base 10 of one equals zero because 10 to the power of zero is equal to one. This indicates zero is equal to d or d equals zero and therefore the equation must be in the form of y equals a times common log of the quantity two minus x. From here, we'll use the second point, negative two comma three, and perform substitution again. We'll substitute negative two for x and three for y. This gives us three equals a times common log of two minus negative two, which simplifies to common log four. And now to solve for a, we divide both sides by common log four, giving us a equals three divided by common log four. One equation for the transform logarithm is y equals three divided by common log four times common log of the quantity two minus x. So this is okay for the answer, but we can simplify this by using the change of base formula in the opposite direction we normally do. Using common logs, log base b of a is equal to common log a divided by common log b. Notice the common log b in the denominator gives us the log base b on the left. In our case, our denominator is common log four which means we can write this equation using log base four. Y equals three divided by common log four times common log of the quantity two minus X is equivalent to Y equals three times log base four of the quantity two minus X. I hope you found this helpful.